see the tiger swallowtail? Over here. You see this yellow and black butterfly? Yeah. I saw it too right there. Oh, yep, yeah, there's another one. Whoa, that one almost flew right into me. You love the butterflies? Yeah. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. There is another one. And and I saw a skipper butterfly too. There is one flying over there. And then another one flying over there. So many butterflies come to visit our butterfly garden. Yeah. Oh look, Liam. The lilies we planted this year are budding up. How fun. I'm the leader. Oh. You're the leader? Show me which way to go, huh? I appreciate that. So twice a day, we have Fancy up here on the milk stand, making sure that the baby, which once was two babies, now it's one, make sure that the baby's getting plenty of milk. His belly already felt really full when I squished it. it felt pretty good and full of milk, so he doesn't seem that interested. You want some? But we do that just to make sure that this transition is going okay. I love that goat. And it definitely is, because he's not even hungry. You love that goat? Yeah. You go pet that baby. So while she eats, Liam, you'll get to play with him. I'm gonna put him down for you. Here. There's your baby. I love you. You love the babies. Oh, careful. We don't pick up the babies too much, okay? Put them back down and then give them hugs. Yeah. That's better. You're good with those babies, though. They like you. Huh. Smile for me, Liam. Her udder is really soft and loose, so I know the baby's been nursing all night, which is just what we wanted to see and have been seeing. So I'm feeling really good about this, despite our struggles and losses. I know that we can overcome it and be happy for the blessings that we do have in our life. So if her udder had been tight and full, I would milk some of it out to make sure that it's easy for the baby to latch on. But Obviously, he's having no issues with that, and really, because of the fact that she's nursing everybody else's goats during the day, I'm going to let her keep all that milk in her udder. This might really improve Fancy's milk production. She's always been a low producer, always provided enough for her twins, but she never really had a whole lot extra for us after that. But considering she's now just got one that she needs to take care of primarily, and four others that are stealing off of her. This might increase her milk production. <laughs> you love that baby? Yeah. Aw, you're so good with him. You're good with him, he likes you. What about you, Autumn, you getting jealous? Are you getting jealous that your best friend is playing with another baby? You play with that baby too, huh? <laughs> you still love Autumn? Maybe they can be friends. Maybe they can be friends. You know, I've noticed that Autumn has been being friends with the little babies, so it's good for her to have these babies around. Liam, are you still feeling yucky? Don't pick your nose. Where's your tissue? In your pocket. Okay, well then take it out and put it on your nose when you feel boogies coming out. Liam, Rowan, and I have been fighting a nasty, weird virus. It presents with, with a severe thirst and swollen neck and lymph nodes and sore throat. And then for the boys, it's had a whole lot of congestion. So, but we're recovering quite well. How does your throat feel, Liam? Is your throat better? Uh, yeah. You're just stuck with a little bit of sinuses still. You can't find your tissue? Uh-oh. Stand up, it might help you. Where is it? I 
know you had it in there. You showed me. Did you lose it? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm just putting hose water in here. You're putting the hose water in there? That looks like a chicken chicken water that needs to get washed out. Are you washing it? You're a good helper. Is, is it the hose on? No, the hose isn't on. That's why it's only dripping. But you only need a little bit of water to get it washed, huh? You gotta get all that green and brown stuff out. I think that's from the old chicken tractor that was left for a while. Alright, you ready to get the eggs? Yeah. They're inside the food bowl. You can just reach in there, feel around underneath them. Oh, you're petting that one. All right, can can I have the eggs? I don't want them to try to fly out, so that's why I'm. Is that all of them? Was there just two? Move her over to the other side. Oh, yep. I thought there was three. How many eggs are there, Liam? One, two, three. Good job. So basically, there's always going to be hardships in life. There's always going to be horrible things that happen, regardless of whether you're a homesteader or not. And we just have to keep our faith through that difficult time and believe that there's a better day ahead. There's light at the end of the tunnel. There's somewhere over the rainbow. Anything that you have to say to yourself to make yourself feel better, do it. Because feeling down and staying down, that doesn't help anybody. It certainly didn't help me during my time when I was really struggling and couldn't make videos. So after this recent tragedy, I have told myself that I am to keep going no matter what, that I can't stop. I won't stop because if I allow myself to get down, I stay down for way too long. So I'm going to try my best to stay up through this tragedy and try to stay strong. So thank you for, you know being there with me through this journey because it's got a lot of ups and downs <laughs> and I'm just ready to share all the ups I'm ready for all the happy stuff I'm ready for all the good stuff so let's make that happen okay cauliflower heads but if I add them up together we'll have enough for a meal the heat has become too much for them so they're just little and I thought maybe if I left them they would get bigger but this is what happens if you leave them to get bigger so time to harvest I can still eat that Bringing your tractor back. Careful going over that fence. You got it? Oh, you're getting good at this. Turn. Oh, you almost got it. Oh. The hay. Yeah, the hay. I just added to it. Here. Oh, you don't run me over. You like your tractor? Yeah. Best birthday present ever, huh? Yeah. Tell everybody why your brother's not here. He wants to play Roblox. He wanted to play Roblox on what? On his new tablet. On his new tablet. 
he got a birthday present from one of our subscribers. Thank you, Paige. He loves his tablet, doesn't he, Rowan? Yeah. Yeah. So he's been pretty obsessed with it. And I'm Rowan. And you're not Rowan, but you're talking about him. Because yeah. he's your brother. Hey, where's that tissue that's supposed to be in your pocket? Um, Don't I use it. Somewhere. You lost it somewhere. All right, well, we can get a paper towel if we have to. Don't be wiping the grease all over your sleeve. No! Despite the fact that we've been faced with an awful tragedy of losing Fantasia, our most desired doling ever, we have to go forward because we have the beauty that still remains in this herd and we still have five beautiful babies that need the love and support that we are here to give them. And despite the fact that my garden is overgrown with weeds. Only half of it is sort of planted. All of it is planted late. Even more will hopefully still get planted, even if it's late. We're hoping to get a little bit more done back here. And despite it not being perfect, it's still something. And I still have a vegetable side dish for our dinner tonight, fresh from our own backyard and our own blood, sweat, and tears. And despite the fact that I still struggle with my health and I have increasingly more symptoms that are unexplained and medical diagnosis yet to be discovered. I know that I can still get up in the morning and do my morning chores, even if that's all I can do, even if that's all the strength and energy I have for the entire day, I am at least able to do that and keep following my dream of what makes me the happiest. And that's my homestead, everything about it. So I'm gonna continue following that dream, keeping the strength, keeping the hope, keeping that faith. Because there's just no other choice. <laughs>